Hey guys, Asta here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an engagement look. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with hydrating her face and for that I'm going to be using MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to be using this Dior Hydra Cream which is super moisturizing. I'm gonna start off with this uh, eyebrow wax from NYX. This is gonna keep her brow hair in place. I am filling in her brows with Makeup Design Ray's dark brown foundation. You want it light in the beginning, and as you go towards the tail, it should be dark enough. I'm gonna use my Makeup Design Ray's eyeshadow palette to set the foundation in place. I'm gonna be using a black color only on the tail of the brow. Next, I'm going to set her brows with Max Brow Set. I'm now going to clean up her brows. I'll be using my Makeup Design Ease Concealer. Next, I'm going to prime her eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden. This is going to keep her shadow in place and it's going to give her a nice vibrancy. The actual colors are going to come out nicely. Remember to use less because less is always more. It's going to prevent creasing as well. I'm going to start off with warming up her crease with my Naked Palette. I'm going to be using my Sigma's E38 Diffused Crease Brush. The first shade I'm going to be using is Naked, which will go directly in a crease. The next color that I'm going to use is called Buck. This is again to deepen up the crease. Next, I'm going to be using the color Sienna from my Makeup Design Rizal Shadow Palette. This is to deepen up the crease a little more to add dimension. I'll be using the color Smog from my Naked One Palette. almost halfway through. The next color I'm going to use is Busted from my Naked 2 palette. I'll be using another flat brush from Makeup Designery. This color is going to go on the outer V of her eyes. Next I'm going to start shading this color with my Sigma's Pointed Crease E48 brush and I'm going to take the color Busted again slightly. I'm going to take my Coastal Scents blending brush blend of these harsh edges apply my highlighter shade from my naked palette the color is virgin sigma's highlight diffuser e71 brush to blend the crease in the highlight color i'm gonna go back in with virgin again on the inner corners i'm gonna take my ysl gel eyeliner in noir Mascara. Next, I'm gonna apply eyelashes. The lashes are from Red Cherry in number 523, and these are 100% human hair. This will not make your eyes feel heavy. For a base, I'm gonna be using this MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation. I'm gonna be using my round kabuki brush from Sigma, and the number is F82. Be sure to put the base on her neck. Next, I'm gonna be highlighting and contouring her face. I'm gonna be using my makeup design base foundation palette. Go here in a V shape. You want to highlight all those areas where the, where the light hits the face directly. Highlights in place. I'm going to be using my makeup. To 
Design Ray's Blush Palette and the color I'm going to be using is Lemon Green. For my blusher, I'm going to be using this blush from MAC called Peach Key, which has, which is a nice pinkish peachish color with some gold flakes in it. I'm going to be using a powder highlighter which is MAC's Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I'm going to go back to my Naked One palette, Color Naked. I'm going to do her lower lash line and I'll be using my MAC's 219. Next, I'll take back. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Design in Sienna. I'm going to go back to my Naked Two palette and take Busted. black track and I'm going to put that on her waterline. Using a gel eyeliner on the waterline is far better because this does not smudge and stays on long. Next I'm going to be lining her lips with this NYX lip liner in hot red. I'm going to go back with my Max Fix Plus to put everything in place. And talking about the dress now, this is a nice gown which is golden, copper and red in colour. Therefore, I have incorporated all those colours in her makeup. I've given her copperish gold smoky eye and to match the red in our outfit and given a nice red lips. She's wearing this outfit from Shringar. It's a very nice gown and the jewellery is from Kawachi, Motiwala and Sons. Instead of putting the neck piece here in her neck, we put it on the head over there. And to talk about this neck piece, this is an 18 carat diamond and ruby set. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for lots more to come. Bye.